we were talking about our basic aspiration and how we had to have this shift happen in our um, you know how we perceive things what we understand so the transformation that we were talking about if we work on ourselves and we can bring about the transformation in ourselves it will have an outcome beyond that so the two transformations that need to take place one is within us personally what we can speak of as transformation in the self or transformation in the consciousness and while working on that we can also work for a societal transformation a transformation in the society can we go to the next slide yeah so we spoke of this that this transformation when we say transformation in the self ultimately it is about moving from living in the lower activities to living to our highest potential with the um, awareness of the higher activities within ourselves so we will speak about this in some detail um, as we go along and the process of doing it so in the lower left block what you can see is that the yellow part the lower activities we are living with and this is the state for most of us most of society today we are just referring to this as the b2 block of course there are no such names this is just a term that we are using so that we can identify these lower activities as a group and this is what we refer to as imagination if you recall from uhv2 we have desires we have thoughts we have expectations that are going on constantly within us we said that and here in uhv3 we will try to explore this practically try to see it within ourselves so we will spend time um seeing our thoughts feelings desires going on within us all the time we also said in uh the previous uh, uhp2 that this imagination that is going on the thoughts the feelings or the desire the feelings that are associated with certain desires all this that is going on within us largely we may be living unaware of it unaware of what is going on in our imagination we also said that there are three sources for this whatever is going on in our imagination it could be whatever we have grown up with whatever we have heard whatever we have read whatever we have uh, been influenced by throughout our journey so far so we call that the preconditionings so that could be one source which is guiding our imagination motivating our imagination another source can be sensation something that is pleasant for the body the feeling is you know the sensation is pleasant for us we may spend time thinking about it desiring that so that could be another source of our imagination and a third source which is uh, very often not really utilized much and forms a very small part of this whole imagination that is going on that third source can be our natural acceptance so as we keep referring to our natural acceptance 
this source for our imagination becomes a bigger and bigger chunk as compared to preconditioning and sensation. So when we go along, it will become more clear about that. Eventually, we want to be able to have all of our imagination in line with the natural acceptance. For that to happen, we have to be able to see all of reality the way it is and ultimately find out that this is the pattern that is already there in existence. We just have to understand it. We have to see our role as a human being in this and this, then just live with that, participate in that. So in that process, as we keep referring to the natural acceptance, we will slowly start becoming aware of these higher activities within us. Or you can say the higher activities unfold within us. And ultimately, we want to be at the level of the realization, activity of realization, so that, you know, at every moment, so that it can guide our imagination in the right direction at every moment. So this is the goal of the personal transformation. And with that, we will move towards societal transformation. So um, I think we had stopped here. So the reflection also that we had asked, we had asked you to explore into this and check in all the activities yesterday what you could see. Are you working for this effort of transformation within yourself? Or are you looking for things to change outside? What that implies is in some way we are looking for happiness from outside which is, you know, we want pleasurable sensation to happen outside. We want the problems in society to become less. We want many things. So are we looking for things that will happen outside which will make us happier? Or are we working on ourselves? So this... Uh, question we had asked and we can take your observations for others means uh, relating my conduct with others who wanted to solve their problems it is me. but uh, i am uh, thinking about myself here mostly and uh, i came in the questions in also in my mind that uh, he, uh, we were uh, human beings from the starters I am uh, talking about the evolution of human beings. Now our focus is on ourselves. Huh. Within ourselves. See, yesterday also, we, hmm. we tend to, you know, skim through this and say, yes, yes, we are working on ourselves. In fact, if you, see, if you read the question, you would find that we are asking to see in all your activities and interactions with human beings yesterday. Soon after putting out that reflection, you responded and said, we are working on ourselves. The point is, we were asking you to look at different interactions yesterday in your living. So before going through the interactions, how are you able to respond to that question? Isn't it? Uh, yeah. We are not reading the question properly. We are not spending enough time. The point is, see, we tend to look at it and we think, yes, yes, we know this. We are, we are already on this path. But really, it will be most useful for each one of us if we look at it carefully, look at all our interactions and see what is happening there. Check it ah, out. Yeah, yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. I, I am constantly working for myself and uh, I now understand that uh, I have to develop 
right understanding right understanding for myself and body also right understanding uh, because right there understanding is, can only be in myself the body cannot uh, right have right right huh? Huh? body is the material right set it doesn't uh -huh. have the capacity for understanding oh uh, okay means uh, right standing is uh, belongs to self only uh, but it, it doesn't belong uh, uh, to the self the self has the capacity to understand it has the potential to understand understand okay okay body uh, is uh, is uh, only an instrument of self and uh, there is uh, yeah. try to see for ourselves don't just believe whatever is being said try to observe this within yourself as we do the exercises this will become more yeah. clear yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah yes i found that to, uh, for uh, uh, for uh, for transformations uh, i think that this is uh, discipline play uh, plays a very important role in our life uh, if we discipline yeah, yeah again we have many preconditionings right oh, hmm. what is right now for you you might say discipline somebody else hmm. may say something else how do you decide yeah. hmm? uh, how do I, you decide, I decide? you are going uh, by leaving the preconditioning without doing any of this what we are talking about we are talking about referring to our natural acceptance right what what is the meaning of you know the various word what is it that the reality is being indicated how we are seeing it in ourselves this is what we need to do right now we may have many preconditionings we have heard something we have read something we believe in something we are just trying to match whatever we are hearing here with what we already knew or what we already thought we know our assumption and if it matches we say yes this is fine if it doesn't match we have a problem so this is not what we need to do as we go along you need to refer to your natural acceptance otherwise how do you decide whatever you believe is it true or is it not it means uh, means i am still in uh, in assumptions i am also means uh, you have to see for yourself see when we say yeah, 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 yeah. this is what is you know, whatever i have believed so far uh, it may not all be true isn't it yes 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 uh, there is no uh, all the true yes yes yeah. i may yeah. have grown up with this that you know it is best to um you must study well so that you can be best in the class so that you can get a good job have a good future you know live a happy life now we club these two things together we club the happiness and the material wealth together therefore we get this preconditioning that if i have enough wealth i will be happy and we keep living our life with this preconditioning without checking with our natural acceptance to see is this really true for me without understanding that the human being is a coexistence of self and body i'm just taking this as an example not just for you for everybody so this is an example of how we live by the preconditioning now all our imagination is going to be guided by this preconditioning Can you see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that process, we might be, you know, uh, in competition with somebody else who is doing well in the class. So we have a feeling of opposition for that person. Now, if I go by my assumption, I have to continue on this path. I can be in opposition with that fellow, but I want to be best. So I am moving on that path. and all my thoughts are in that direction my imagination is working in that direction because my assumption is that if i am the best i will get a good job i will be wealthy and happy that may be my assumption but if i refer and with that assumption i am continuing with this feeling of opposition and all of that in the process but if i refer to my natural acceptance in between anywhere i will notice this that 
a feeling of opposition is not naturally acceptable to me. So there itself, I am going against my natural acceptance. Hence, I will have to start looking at every assumption that I have. So let's not just go by whatever we have read and say, yes, that is how it is and try to match it with what we are saying. We have to start fresh. Put aside all our preconditionings, whatever we believe, and try to refer to our natural acceptance and see, is it true for me really? Or is it not true? This is the effort we are going to be doing in this UHP. Right? We'll be looking at our natural acceptance. We will try to understand ourselves better. Isn't it? This potential for understanding is there in the self. This is what we are talking about. We are using only the lower activities within us. And we think we know everything because we are trying, whatever we are getting information from outside, we are processing it through these lower activities. And we say, okay, this is fine. This is how it is. But is it really like that? So this whole process of shifting from having our imagination run by preconditioning and sensation to having our imagination run by natural acceptance. This is only possible if we refer to the natural acceptance. If we don't, then we'll continue with the lower activities without trying to unfold the higher activities. So if we want to understand the reality, the way it is, if we want to unfold the higher activities within us, we need to start referring to the natural acceptance. This is what I was just wanting to put. Oh, oh, okay, ma'am. Uh, and I understand that thing. Uh, yes. I have to keep uh, myself uh, uh, keeping away from the agency, but uh, uh, thinking about the uh, reality behind it. I mean, what is the truth for me? Oh. Oh. Uh, that is means oh. natural acceptance. In fact, if you see, the truth is the same for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just look at it differently. We yeah. think we know, but uh, like this example that I keep, I, uh, you know, uh, 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 if, uh, you know, if I am looking outside and I see things, yeah. you know, the plants, the trees, I see them green. But if I am looking through red colored glasses, I will see them as red. So if I am looking at the truth mm. through my assumptions, they seem different to me because my assumption is something else. I read something somewhere in a book. I believe that to be true. Now I try to see everything in that light. And it may seem that way to me. Isn't it? But yes, uh, in the first step itself, uh, while I am observing my imagination, mm -hmm. so how, it is, how it is related to desire thought expectation and then it leads to natural acceptance, which is the pathway for the higher uh, activities to be unfolded. Yeah, this is what the whole exercise is about, isn't it? Yeah. The steps of the exercise are designed for that only. So if you look at the imagination, you will find, we'll, you know, get into more detail about this later, but just to briefly respond to the question for the others also. What I would say is that if we look at our imagination, we will find there are many thoughts, many feelings that are going on. This is why when we do the exercise, we ask to look at the imagination. But many a time we don't even know what is going on in the imagination. We are just thinking things. We are doing things outside, but we are not aware of what is going on inside. But in fact, whatever is going on inside is actually ultimately leading to the activity outside. Isn't it? I do something, I think about it, and then I do it. Do the action outside. So our focus is largely on the outside, the action. But before that, what I am thinking, what I am feeling, I am not even looking at that. I am somewhere lost in the imagination. I am not aware of what I am thinking, what I am feeling. 
so that part to become aware of then to refer to the natural acceptance this is why we keep saying in the exercise no when you check your feeling when you become aware of the feeling that you have at any moment then you ask your natural acceptance is that feeling naturally acceptable to you or not right there and then is your indicator that are you in line with your natural acceptance or are you not in line with your natural acceptance so slowly that shift will start happening where more and more of your imagination comes in line with your natural acceptance but when we go further to the exercise and all of course there will be more description and you are aware of that i think you have attended earlier no uh, the what is the role of the preconditioning means uh, in the thought desire and expectation we'll come to that can you uh, did you do this exercise or did you try to do this exercise yesterday the reflection part because that's what we are sharing right now yeah, so i do the exercise many often a day and that is a continuous process uh, since last uh, one month or two or more than that <clears throat> and uh, i find that yes i refer to natural acceptance and i act myself uh, whether i am happy or not happy Uh, so in that case but it is difficult on my part i have i'm little confused so how the higher order activity in the self uh, taking place and i am not aware of those things that is my problem yeah see right now we may not be aware of the higher activities within ourselves isn't it yes what was actually asked in the reflection point was in your activities throughout the day including all the time you spend at your workplace with your family members all of that you were to reflect on where your focus is are you you know even thinking about transformation within yourself or are we trying to change others or circumstances or things outside so for instance supposing i come home and the food is not ready i get upset yes. now what is happening here mm -hmm. i am upset i am angry because something outside did not happen the way i wanted it to happen isn't it yes. so there is an example of you can say where i am expecting something to change outside and if it doesn't i am unhappy can you see that yes so my focus rather than thinking about transforming myself is trying to change some circumstance outside so that i can be happy this was the work we had to do the reflection we had to do so uh, okay. my question is were you able to see this and do, would you like to share anything regarding this yes yes so i have seen that uh, when some somebody is angry on me uh, in my family member also you see previously i was uh, reacting within of course not uh, speaking anything outside but uh, now instead of being angry uh, i have a smile on my face uh, <coughs> Jerry, namaste. Namaste. Jerry, yesterday I did video editing, first time volunteering. Uh, then I realized the importance of uh, volunteering. Listening to the video again and again, and um, how my thoughts are appearing. Sometimes um, the pauses comes up for. Uh, participants the repeating the same question same thing again and again <laughs> at the time am i a judge uh, i am i am i am judging that or i am just partial impartial so i came to realize the importance of volunteering yes uh, it's remarkable uh, even though it took me around 5 hours but the way um, s1 ji and uh, aparajita didi helped me 
they literally mm, were there for me every time i asked that that was one remarkable phenomenon that occurred to me and i i could complete that within 4 or 5 hours and now onwards it will take less time mm-hmm. because that was the first the second thing is <clears throat> when i took this uh, activity before that one big incident happened in my life one of my close friend who was more than 30 years was with me we were in a meeting all of a sudden for of no reason he started abusing but uh, i could see at that time why 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 and he used to be like that in the previous interactions also with the everybody and we always used to be cautious and he was in, in the meditation line for a long years an ardent follower of osho he introduced me to osho but that uh, dryness in his life is still there uh, i was just at that time i was feeling that his competence lagging and i was so calm all were those other people they were just surprised how you could be like that and this was the take away from uhv2 and the recent uh, adhyan shivir that i had with uh, sri ram bhaiya on the morning session that helped me to stay calm and put my points and just i requested see i still uh, respect you but why can't you say your points calmly why you are getting so agitated he was throwing the notebook and he was shouting if you are not interested go out get out and all these things i i was still smiling and he got agitated due to that i i the com- the compassion was there but he got agitated again and i still told him see this is not a way you call somebody for the meeting and again you are abusing and you only get disturbed and the entire purpose of the meeting it was a noble purpose it was defeated and after coming back i could see myself i was not disturbed but it was it was so painful didi i was in that zone for more than one hour then i could not check my copy i thought that this is not the right time to check ielts books let me take some work so at that time i did this work and it, it transformed me and the by the moment i completed that i was so happy and so relaxed but when i narrated this incident to one or my two colleagues who got to know what happened in the morning some sort of uh, uh, analysis was there and at that time my uh, ag- agony or pain that came out i could see that while narrating also uh, it was remarkable that the entire day went like this but i could see that my uh, journey is improved thank you for this to the uhp team and uh, mm, you are also you. part of that you this you know looking within and trying to see our feeling trying to see you know whether we are comfortable or not with that feeling all that is possible regardless of what work we are doing we could be doing video editing we could be doing whatever else we could be doing our natural you know everyday routine our daily routine and yet be aware of what is going on within but we'll talk about that in more detail sure um, sure then i yeah. used to tell my students you should learn cooking then only you can respect the importance of cooked food now i could realize the efforts that you people are putting for giving us videos or uh, um, materials how much backhand work goes on remarkable remarkable <laughs> and i can understand the growth that going through that person when i uh, edit your voice when i edit some participant voice i should be so so aware sometimes it goes it, this is useless 
then who are you to judge this this is useless it may be useful for somebody else so okay. be be aware so this is remarkable thank you yes so in fact we'll find you know uh, in many of the works that we do as part of the team even the smallest work if we can see the bigger goal in the background then you can see that even that small bit that seemed you know useless or something that is of no consequence that we can see the significance of that every small work is a link in that chain to the ultimate goal working towards that so we can um while doing those activities also look within and see that what is going on within us but as we do the exercises it will become more clear about how to look within how to um you know have so this transformation we had talked of um can we go to the next slide ultimately this transformation within us is going to lead to a societal transformation how you can see it even here when we are you know all of us are working on transforming ourselves and while doing that we are also working as part of a team like so somebody is doing video editing somebody is doing work as a resource person somebody is doing back end technical work there are so many works involved for something to be put forward on a regular basis for the workshops that are happening on a regular basis from the you know when covid time started from 2020 march those workshops have been running in continuity throughout every week every week every week there is an fdp going on how is it possible only through everybody's volunteering efforts it is not the work of one person it is the work of the whole team put together but each individual and the work they put in each individual's effort is significant and it is important every link in that chain is extremely important for it to come forward in the way that it comes forward so through the fdps this awareness is being relayed to more and more and more teachers and through them to the students so you can see how this shift can happen so from the personal transformation working as a team eventually can lead to societal transformation and if all of society lives with that um awareness of what we were talking about our basic aspiration for happiness and how we can have that happiness having right understanding relationship and physical facility in that priority as our focus then this possibility is there what you can see in the picture of you know in the slide in the yellow part that every individual in the society has that possibility and can have right understanding and right feeling within oneself and be in happiness there can be prosperity in each and every family and the entire society there can be trust fearlessness in the society and coexistence in nature so this possibility is there right now whatever may be the state of the society some things are mentioned in the black below but i would say you know our focus needs to shift from seeing what is not right in society 
or what things need to be you know uh, should be different in society rather than focus on that let us focus on how to move from wherever we may be to where we want to reach if we are clear about where we want to reach then all of these you know whatever may be the state we don't get disturbed by it we are working on moving towards that the goals that we can see in the top yellow section so ultimately when we transform ourselves or as we are transforming ourselves not to say that we have transformed ourselves we wait till we transform fully then we work no right now here and now whatever may be our condition there will always be somebody who knows less than us and there may be many who know more than us so we take guidance from those who know more than us and we give guidance to those who have less understanding than us so you see how that chain forms and ultimately our focus is for everybody to be in this humane society where there is this you know the yellow part where we can be fulfilled and happy and have all the goals met so ultimately that is our goal that is the transformation that we are working for not just for within ourselves but ultimately for making that change happen in all of society also uh, we can go to the next slide so this is what is putting together the previous two slides what we talked of while we are having that you know while we are undergoing the personal transformation in this slide you can see in the upper right block as we unfold the higher activities within us we are slowly having an impact on society after all human beings make society and as the society the consciousness of the society as a whole is changing it helps the individuals because the environment for the individuals is very conducive to have this you know understanding within themselves and so it feeds itself right now what may be happening is that because we are living in animal consciousness a society uh, you know right now is representing that this is what society is reflecting our consciousness so as a society we may be living in animal consciousness right now and therefore we see the problems we see in society but ultimately our focus needs to shift from the problems here and move towards how to change things around for the better and it has to start from within when we work on ourselves as we change we work on transforming others and this can happen in a very smooth manner through this human education process and a uhv team works are examples of that so this is what we are trying to do ultimately through human education not only going through personal transformation but ultimately leading to a transformation on in the society but like i said it starts from within can we go to the next slide so here you can see the method we keep saying self explore self explore self explore so how is this self explore work you know process self exploration process working you see here in this diagram that what we are doing this is just a representation you know diagrammatically of this process that we'll be doing throughout so some proposals are given right we put forward some proposals the facilitator puts forward some proposal in uhv2 you heard some proposal 
then what happens this is you know you are trying to process it through your b2 block because that is what is active you can see the yellow uh, dimension of thought that is representing your b2 block so you are getting the proposal you are listening to the proposal you are getting it it's there in your imagination now when you need to verify this proposal you have to refer to your natural acceptance where is your natural acceptance this is all the way in the b1 block to the dimension of realization the purple thing you see on top so even though the higher activities have not yet unfolded in us even though we are not aware of these activities a glimpse of that is visible in the form of the natural acceptance but we need to refer to it if we don't refer to it it lies dormant and we are practically not accessing it at all so therefore in the self exploration we go up to there what we call the pure observer i mentioned of realization in the b1 block and to that you know activity of realization that is your natural acceptance from there you try to verify the proposal on the basis of your natural acceptance when you verify that proposal and if it appears right to you then now your imagination you bring it in line with that now your thoughts will go in that direction and now when you interact outside with other human beings with the rest of nature you are trying to live this whatever you could verify for yourself within you now you try to live it in your interactions with other human beings and when you work with nature and what you will find is that with that whatever when you are in line with the natural acceptance and you interact with that imagination now you are happy and you share it with others they feel happy when you work with nature you are prosperous at the same time you are working to enrich nature so this is now when you see that now it has been validated by you experientially in your living so this is that process the methodology of self exploration that we'll be doing if there are any questions on this particular what i have covered right now we can take those uh vivi i am actually very new to the to the program i have just finished my uh, uhb1 mm-hmm. however i have been doing my morning sessions and the self exploration work which has been on uh, you know in any case so yesterday firstly i would say that i consciously uh, you know try to explore my feelings and uh, i mean i was aware that i have to explore i have to check myself why am i feeling like this or my reactions so i don't know maybe i go random and i become a little confused or maybe not organized in what my thoughts are saying right now also there is lack of time but i'll just say that the thought that foremost uh, came uh, on my mind was that it while i am in my journey of self exploration i'm also living in the environment with people especially close family and uh because of this journey there has been gaps in the sense that with some people uh, who let's say you know are in um, the buying mode or living in material world and you know and they are very happy with that and i who am like let's say 
uh, not participating actively or enthusiastically which has been for quite some time now actually so there has been gap in those relationships and also, i'll give you a small example like i have uh, been struggling to become a vegetarian and over maybe i would say 6 8 months back or maybe more than that i have completely turned vegetarian which means no no i used to have like non veg curry sometimes yeah, i understand go ahead yeah so that's what so these kind of things which i'm bringing trying to bring change in myself but i feel that others are not happy seeing that change because somewhere uh you know maybe i don't know i mean i'm i'm not going about their presumptions but uh, those even those changes that i'm trying to bring in myself are not being accepted so uh yesterday session there was a very good uh, exploration by another co co passenger she said that you know when i don't see these things this was in the hindi session she said when i don't see these things in my family i don't know how i can go out and you know uh, give, express myself or even volunteer because apni family mein to i'm not being able to bring about this because this obviously accept, uh, affecting my own um my own personality or my judgment like you know like that so uh, this is where i am stuck actually i'm stuck and i thought i would it would be regret because this kind of talk would interaction would need some time and i don't want to eat up time in the morning session so i was just wondering is it possible to explore it further on one on one yeah if you can throw some light on it yeah i'll respond to it briefly and then if there are more questions about it we can talk separately outside also thank you so what happens a lot of times is you see we have got some new information right with that yes. new information we are trying to change things for ourselves yes one is that a lot of times that shift has not really happened it is there as information and it may be i'm not saying for you but i'm saying in general one possibility is that i may be trying to change things outside in the activity without working on myself inside as an example for instance i decide that i should not eat such and such thing because it is bad for the health i should not have it it's not good for the health of the body so mm-hmm. i have decided what is wrong what i need to stop doing right and i try to do that but if i look into why i was doing it i was doing it because it was giving me some pleasure whatever mm-hmm. happiness i was getting from it even in bits and pieces i was okay with that because for some time it was giving me some pleasure right now i you know that happiness within which is still a void has not been fixed that void is still in me so i'm still not able to see the happiness within myself i'm stopping myself from trying to get that pleasure from outside <coughs> you see what happens it's a struggle yeah. it's a battle it's very tough it's hard isn't it yes. yes so that is likely not going to work why because i haven't fixed it at the root i am working on the action outside but i am not taking care of the imagination inside and the imagination inside if the feeling is not right i am not in happiness within until and unless i have the right happiness right feeling within i am going to be i am bound to be disturbed unhappy with that i'm trying to cut off my whatever little happiness i thought i was getting from outside so it will not work so i need to work on the inside part that is one the other thing is when we have some small achievement outside even on the basis of information even if it is temporary we want to 
make the other change also so in the family in our immediate workplace we keep trying to tell others see how good this is and you must do this and this is uh, you know it will work for you it is good for you so people hear things but it may not be reflecting in my behavior for instance i may tell you know somebody in my family you must do it it's good for you and when they say no no i have no time for this and all i get disturbed i get angry so the other person can see this they are able to see that this is not working for them, for you why should they take why should they spend time on it so, so they don't want to look at it sure i understand that so yeah. here i would just say that uh, i don't uh, impose i still cook and there's still whatever everybody else is eating i have no issues i mean nothing at all i'm not trying to tell anybody that eat this or don't eat this it's just that i have been trying to uh, it was like a it i knew the concept why i'm becoming a vegetarian but it took me time because like you said happiness from outside and whatever it was but now i think i have come to that yes it's still a bit of a struggle not as much as it was and i didn't given to that i said okay i'll i'll wean myself yeah, this is what that. you know this is what i'm saying yeah because if it's if i'm making it happen in a natural way it will not be a struggle right right if it is a struggle means probably i am focusing only on the activity outside i am not focusing on the inside and as we do the exercises you will notice this that shift may start happening then it becomes easier to change the activity outside also because it goes in a flow yeah once your assumption gets corrected your feeling gets corrected once your feeling gets corrected your thoughts come in line once your thoughts come in line your behavior automatically flows in line so you don't have to struggle with it okay right So right. now I think we'll, you know, we can discuss this uh, later also. Okay. Uh, but we'll go ahead because yes. uh, there are other hands to you. Yes, Didi, thank you. Did you have a question regarding what we were just discussing? Uh, yes, Didi, thank you, Didi. Uh, I was just having a difficulty in understanding the natural acceptance uh, mm -hmm. while performing many of our duties for taking decisions. uh for example uh like uh, we we are uh in the situation of deciding whether a person should be given euthanasia or not so in that situation like uh natural acceptance doesn't help same way whenever we are like uh, as a child or as a parent we want to decide what is the role of a parent or for a child it comes naturally it is care but suppose the other person is not able to uh, give care where the person is supposed to then automatically there comes a feeling of opposition so because natural acceptance is for care and the other person is not giving it so the feeling generated is of opposition so in that situation how to maintain the feeling of relationship also we have been like studying many scriptures all of us so for example how can run out uh, of time we, we yeah. can discuss later thank you the focus needs to stay within me first let's not find hypothetical situations and euthanasia and all of that let us look at today right now within my living so if i am you know um having some interaction with my loved ones yes a feeling of care is naturally acceptable to me but am i ensuring that feeling within myself or am i looking for it from outside that is a very big question so if i ensure you know the right feeling within myself at that very moment happiness is ensured for me 
but if i don't have that right feeling within and i am looking for that right feeling from outside then there is no guarantee because it depends on the outside that outside is not up to me there i don't have much control i do have you know possibility of ensuring my own feeling but i cannot ensure that somebody else must have the right feeling for me and ultimately i will find that when i have the right feeling within myself it doesn't disturb me now if the other doesn't have the right feeling because my cup is full i am you know having the right feeling within i am happy with that rather i start seeing why the other person doesn't have the right feeling and i think of helping the other this much i would like to respond